was a farmer who had three sons. Simeon, the first son, was a soldier. Taras, the second son, was a merchant. Ivan, the third son, was a fool. Simeon went to fight for the Tsar. Taras went to the city to make money. Ivan stayed at home to work on the farm. Simeon was a very good soldier. However, he was always poor. His wife used all of his money. Simeon went to his father and said, You are rich. Give me one-third of what you have. The father said, You did not help us make money. Simeon went to Ivan. He said, Give me one-third of the farm. Ivan said, You can have your share. So Simeon took his share of the farm and went again to the army. The second son, Taras, was working in the city as a merchant. He became very rich. He was rich, but it was never enough. Taras went to Ivan and said, Give me half of what you have. Ivan laughed and said, I will let you have your share. The brothers left Ivan only one old horse to work with to take care of his family. Chapter 2 The Old Devil The Old Devil was angry. He was angry because the three brothers did not fight with each other. He called his three small devils. The old devil said, Look, that is the home of three brothers. Go make them fight each other. The first devil said, We will take away everything. They will have nothing to eat. They will have to live together. Then they will fight. The small devils went away to work on the brothers. A few days later, the devils met again. They talked about their work. One devil said, Simeon went to fight, but I wet the gunpowder. Then I made soldiers out of straw for him to fight. His soldiers were afraid because they could not use their guns. The Tsar was very angry with him and took away his land. The second devil told his story about Taras. I made him want everything he sees, so he used all of his money. He will soon go back to his family's farm because he has no money. Chapter 3 Ivan and the Little Devils The third devil told his story about Ivan. He said, First, I spit into his drink. It made him sick. But still, he went to work on the land. So, I made the dirt hard. He could not use his plow. His stomach hurt a lot but he kept working. I broke one of his plows, but he got another one. Then I tried to hold the plow with my hands. His strength was too great. He cut my hands. The two devils said, We, we have, have to try, try again. again. The third devil tried again the next day. When Ivan started to plow, he hit something like a hard root. It was not a root. It was the devil holding the plow. What is this? Ivan asked. There were never any roots here before. Ivan put his hand in the ground to find the root. He pulled up something soft. 
It looked like a root, but it moved. He saw that it was a little devil. A little devil, he said. He was about to kill it. The devil said, "Do not kill me. I will give you any wish." Ivan said, "My stomach hurts. Can you make me better?" The devil found some roots and gave them to Ivan. He said, "Eat these. They will help you. Your sickness will go away." Ivan ate the root and felt better. "May I go?" The little devil asked. "I will never come back." Ivan said, "Yes, and may God bless you." The devil went into the ground. Ivan did all of his work and went home. When Ivan got back home, his brother Simeon was there. Simeon asked, "Can I stay with you?" Ivan said, "Of course." The next day, the first little devil went to stop Ivan from cutting the grass. When Ivan began cutting the grass, the little devil hid in the grass. He tried to hold Ivan's tool to make. The devil thought, "I will keep him from cutting the grain in the morning." However, when the little devil came the next day, he was surprised. Ivan had cut the grain at night. The devil thought, "I will kill the plants." However, in the field, the devil became too tired. He went to sleep. Ivan saw something in the field. He tried to move it with his tool. The devil woke up and started to move. Ivan stopped the devil with his tool. What is this? Ivan asked. You again? You said you would not come back. No! The devil said. I am another devil. Please don't kill me. I can give you magic. You can make soldiers from straw. They will do anything for you. Ivan asked, "Can they sing?" "Yes," said the devil. "Take some straw and throw it on the ground. Each piece will turn into a soldier." Ivan did. And the straw became soldiers. The soldiers started singing. Ivan told him, Turn them back into straw. I don't need soldiers. The devil asked if he could go. With God's blessing, you may go. Ivan said. The devil disappeared into the ground. Chapter Five: Soldiers and Gold. When Ivan went home that night, Taras was at the farm. Now both of his brothers needed homes. Ivan went into the forest to cut down trees to build houses for them.
The second little devil went into the forest too. He stopped the trees from falling when Ivan cut them. Ivan got tired. He stopped cutting trees to rest. The little devil waited. Then it fell asleep. When Ivan cut down the tree the devil was sleeping in, the tree fell on it. The little devil was under it. Ivan said, You again? No! The devil replied, I am another devil. Please don't kill me. I can give you magic. You can make all of the gold you want. Take the leaves and rub them in your hands. Ivan did, and gold began to fall at his feet. May God bless you, Ivan said. The devil disappeared. After that, Ivan had an idea. He made some straw soldiers. Then he sent the soldiers to sing for his friends. Ivan also brought bags of gold from the forest. He gave the gold to his friends. Simeon heard about this. He went to Ivan and asked, Will you make soldiers for me? Ivan said, Of course, but you must take them away from here. We do not have enough food for all of them. Ivan threw straw on the ground. He made lots of soldiers for Simeon. Then Simeon left to fight other kingdoms. Later, Taras went to Ivan and asked, Will you make gold for me? Then I can be a merchant again. Ivan made Taras gold. Taras said, Thank you. Then he went away with the gold. Taras became very rich. He bought himself a kingdom. Chapter 6 Ivan's Kingdom One day, the Tsar's daughter was sick. The Tsar said that whoever made her better would get a lot of land and money. Ivan remembered the root that helped him. He took some of it to the palace and gave it to the Tsar's daughter. She got better. Ivan married her and got a lot of land and money. He became a Tsar over his land. Now all three brothers had their own kingdoms. The old devil heard about the three brothers and their kingdoms. He was angry that they were all happy. The devil became a general and led an army to fight Simeon. Simeon lost and had to run for his life. Next, the devil became a merchant and bought all of the things that Taras wanted. Taras could not buy anything, even food. Then, the old devil went to Ivan's kingdom. 
he put on clothes like a nobleman. Ivan's people worked for everything they needed. However, the old devil was lazy. He did not work, so he did not have food. The old devil was very weak from not eating. The old devil talked to the people of Ivan's kingdom. He told them to use their brains, not their hands to do work. However, the old devil was too weak. He fell and hit his head. Ivan walked up to him, but the old devil disappeared into the ground. Ivan said, Another devil. He must be the father of the little ones. Ivan's brothers came to visit him because they had nothing. Ivan welcomed them. He said, Stay with me, my brothers. We have lots of everything. After that, the three brothers lived happily in Ivan's kingdom.